Okay, I am going to show two ways to throw a juicer. This first one is going to be a juicer by itself, and then the other one will be a juicer on a little pitcher, depending which one you want to do and what kind of drinks you're going to want to make with it. If you're just making a margarita or something like that or just need some juice for a, um, a recipe you're doing, this would probably work fine. The other one would be like if you want to actually have lemonade or orange juice or something like that. But the way you make this, the actual juicer or the reamer is pretty much the same. So I start with about 1.5 or 1.3 to 1.5 pounds of clay. And then this is about 4 inches before I get started. Now I'm going to separate this almost into two pots. I'm going to kind of come in right about there and I'm going to go down. That's going to be our plate or our bowl. So I'm just going to take that down and get that out of my way for right now. So now that's just kind of a flat disc. Now I'm just going to bring this in a little bit and I'm going to go straight down to the back. So now I'm just going to treat this whole section right here as a pot unto itself. And I'm, it's going to be in a closed form. So the first thing I want to do is do a pull, and I'm going to pull it towards center. Just so that we can start heading towards that closed form. It's getting quite just about to the height I want it. The little air bubble will be right there, so I'll probably take that off with the needle tool. So I'm just going to bring that in. And now I'm just going to neck that in. It's just not much different than doing a bottle. I don't like that one little piece. I'm just going to take this little bubble off, get it out of our way. And I'm just going to close this up the rest of the way. And then once you've got it closed, it's really just a balloon, so you can do some shaping if you want to. I'm just going to push it in down here a little bit. And then I'll just take a little red flexible rib and just round it off. And then I won't carve the ridges in it until I'm trimming. So now... We've got the reamer made part, so now we're going to make the bowl. So I'm just going to come out here, make sure I'm still pretty flat. I'm going to just kind of start bringing this out like a bowl. And once I've kind of got a little bit of a bowl divot happening here, I'm going to just stick my sponge in underneath here, and I'm going to bring it up. See how it's starting to become a bowl? And once I brought it up, I'm going to just do a pull. I'll soften the edge with a sponge. And I might use my red rib just to make it a little bit more bowl-like. So I'll just kind of shape it into a curve. And I'm just going to push this bowl out to it just to get that nice bowl curve out here. And then I'm just going to soften that edge, get any of the gook 
from there. And then this is going to be a standalone one, so I'm going to go ahead and make a spout on it. So I'm just going to put my fingers right here, take two fingers right here, and I'm just going to push it out. And I'm going to belly it out a little bit down here because I'm going to put a little strainer on it after I trim. And that's it. I'm just going to undercut it and I'll let that dry. Okay, so now we got to trim our reamer. This is the one with the spout on it, so we're going to trim it and then we'll put a screen on here so that we can use it to screen out any seeds. So I threw this chuck um, before I started doing this project and um, it's leather hard and um, I just through basically a cylinder that would fit the top of this. I'm going to just set that in there, make sure it's centered. I'm just going to move that a little bit that way. There, that's good. So what I'm really going to do is clean up the hole to match the hole that I had made when I was throwing it. And I'm just kind of matching it up with the clay inside. And you could probably do a better job of when you throw this of just cleaning this all the way to the bottom like you would if you were throwing a flower pot. And then you wouldn't even have to do this stuff. And then all I'm going to do is do a pass over the top. I feel like I'm getting going out of center a little bit. And so I'm just going to soften this edge a little bit. some of that's a little bit wet but I wanted to finish this project and then I'll just take my red rib and just smooth that all out Turn the whole thing over. Get rid of this. So next thing I need to do is actually make the um, reamer mark so that it can actually squeeze out the juice. I'm going to use this mud tool that I've used for carving that I kind of like for this. All I'm going to do is start from the bottom and come up. So now I'm going to just put the screen on, and so I've just got a piece of clay that I've got letting get pretty, not leather hard, but um, so it's not sticky anymore. And I'm just going to poke some holes in it. I'll probably go three across and then two up above. Maybe I'll do one more up above just in case we have that room to put it in there. So I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is just kind of set it in here and see how it fits. And I'll just take a pencil or I'm gonna use this exacto knife and I'm just gonna go across so I know where to cut it. And then up here. And up here. I'm just going to take it down and just go across. And then I'm just going to go down and go down on the other 
side. So now I'm just going to fit it back in there. Actually, I'll probably turn it around. I'm just going to fix that one right there. And I'm just going to push it on to there to create the screen. Then last thing you need to do is put a handle on. And I just am gonna put a little handle on my, I'm gonna kind of square this off just a little bit back here. And I'll just put the handle on there. I'm just gonna join it right there. So, rough it up. Just gonna do a couple pulls. And I'll probably just wind it around on itself. Whoops. Something like that. So I'll just kind of wind it up around on itself. And it'll be just kind of like that. And that's pretty much it. I might refine it a little bit, but now I'll just let it dry and fire it.